Okay, so a few years ago I built what I call the micro stick. Alright, so a mini stick has a seven inch wingspan and you saw mine flying in the in the armory. Okay, a micro stick only has a five inch projected wingspan. So here's the one I did and this was very successful. It's got a two inch wide cord. Alright, so that's, uh, you know, an aspect ratio of 2.5, which is very low, but it still flies great. Alright. So, while I was playing around with it, I thought, let me experiment a little bit and try one with a super wide cord. So this one was two and a half inch cord on a five inch projected wing. I mean, that's a two to one aspect ratio, extremely low, okay? And to tell you the truth, this has just been sitting in a box because I had problems. The minute you got over more than, uh, you know, a little bit of winds where you're starting to get a climb, I had problems with it spiraling and out of control. So I just concluded, well, that's too wide, so, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I just put it in the box. However, I noticed from flying my other minis that the, a big rudder seems to help with this, so I thought, let me experiment a little bit and uh, not fool around here and just make a gigantic rudder and put it on there. And that's what I did here and see what happens. And just from some living room test, I mean, it took off like a bandit. Looked like it really climbed, all right? So, uh, although I'm working mainly on the Mini and the A6s right now, I thought maybe I'll give this a shot in the Armory sooner or later, okay? Because it looks like it might be a good climber, even though it's incredibly tiny, all right? So, I'm just making this in case we get some Armory video, and I'll, I'll add that on sooner or later, and we'll see uh, what this does. Alright, so I'm going to get in the picture here a little bit just to give you an idea of the size of these things. So here's my uh, mini stick. Okay, this flies really nice, having a lot of fun with it. Let me grab the micro, which is over here. And here's the micro stick. And that, you know, you can see it's smaller than my hand, really. So it's really tiny. Now the problem I had with the wide wing is you have to design these so that the fuselage twists a little bit like that. And it actually raises this, that's called wash in. And that prevents it from spiraling in because of the torque to the left, okay? But what happens is, I have enough wash in, but what happens is it's kind of like stalling like this, alright? So what I'm hoping with the bigger rudder is that'll push it around and that'll keep it and get it out of the stall, okay? We're going to find out when we go to T-neck, alright. Okay. There's the micro stick. That turns too big. I got to make some adjustments when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> it gets up there for a little micro, you know. It's tiny. I gotta make some adjustments though, I can see. It's so right to that wall. That wall just sucks it right in. Damn it. Yeah, right into the wall every single time. Oh well, here we go. Whoop. <laughs> okay. 